Hello and welcome to Using Your Smarticles. Today we're going to learn how to create a pixel art reveal activity. Let's go! You first start by setting up your sheet. Click up in the top left hand corner and drag so that all of your cells are square shaped. Then click the first column and stretch it. This is where your questions are going to go. Next click the second column and stretch it too. This is where the answers will go. Your first step is to create your pixel art. I like to have a reference point when I'm doing this, so I insert the image that I'm trying to create over the cells, and then I just push it off to the side so I can look at it as I'm creating my pixel art. When you're ready to go, click the bucket tool on your toolbar and click a cell. Then use the copy and paste to simply copy and paste that color into the areas that you want to color. Repeat this for each color you want to use until you've designed your image. When you're finished designing your pixel art, delete the reference image that you added. We're now ready to start formatting the cells to listen for answers that the students will eventually type. To do this, click on the answer cell where you want to accept answers, then go to Format and Conditional Formatting. You'll see a menu bar pop up on the right hand side. Here you're first going to change the format rules to custom formula. The custom formula you're going to be using each time you enter a format into a cell is this. The B represents the column and the 2 represents the row. And the word between the quotes is the answer the cell is listening for. So these will change each time you click on a different cell when you want to format it. Next, click the bucket tool and select the first color that you're going to start formatting and then click this here. You're now going to highlight anything red in your image by holding down the control key. Be sure you don't overlap any cells twice. As soon as you have every single one of the cells for that color highlighted or selected, you're going to go ahead and click OK. Then click Done. The last step is to click on the bucket tool at the top and click Reset. This will show each of the cells that have already been colored and will make them disappear so that you can continue formatting the rest of your pixel art. I like to type in the word that I just coded in just to test to make sure it's working. And you can see when I type NiceGate, the red color reappears. To continue, you're going to go to the next cell down and repeat the process by going to Format, Conditional Formatting, and doing all the same steps we did before. The only difference is that when you get to the custom formula, you're no longer putting in B2. This time, you're going to be putting in B and 3. Once you have all of the answer cells formatted, just add your questions and then change the information in between the quotes, in this case it says NiceGate, to the actual answer the spreadsheet is looking for. Your spreadsheet is now ready for students to read a question and answer it to reveal an image. That's all there is to it. Good luck!